All right, so I haven't done a video updating you guys on COVID recently, but we've been having some pretty good news. Obviously, more and more people are getting vaccinated. We've almost hit the point where there's a supply side problem where we have an oversupply of COVID vaccines and not enough people who are wanting to take them. But nonetheless, we have dropping case rates, dropping death rates. And um, the CDC just came out with some pretty big news here. So the CDC says they're dropping mask requirements for fully vaccinated people. I'm not really sure how you would even tell the difference, obviously, between vaccinated and unvaccinated people people so obviously this is just going to give free reign to everybody to drop wearing masks now but let's just go ahead and read what they had to say about this so the CDC uh, announced Thursday that people who are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 no longer need to wear masks or physically distance indoors or outdoors in most circumstances we have all longed for this moment when we can get back to some sense of normalcy CDC director Dr. Rochelle Walensky said during the media brief briefing today uh, and continues on, based on the continuing downward trajectory of cases, the scientific data on the performance of our vaccines, and our understanding of how the virus spreads, Walensky said, that moment has come for those who are fully vaccinated. So this is what they're saying, okay? The, I'll give you some statistics as to where we are right now on COVID. Let's go ahead and look at, so this is where we're at with vaccinations. Uh, we fully vaccinated around 35% of the population. You can look at a map, a map here to see which states are ahead and which ones are slightly lagging behind. Um, but yeah, 35% of our population, they're saying between upwards of, I think, 70 to 80% need uh, for us to be need to be vaccinated for us to hit herd immunity. Uh, and I don't think, honestly, that that's something we're going to do. Uh, there's been lots of reports uh, that saying that it's even in question that we will ever hit herd immunity. It's going to be something really difficult to do, given the amount of people in this country that just just don't want to get vaccinated. Um, so it's kind of weird to me to think about this, you know, how are we going to move forward with the pandemic? Is this is just something that's going to be here indefinitely to stay? And what are we going to do if there are new variants that pop up in the future that negate uh, the efficacy of the vaccines? Will we then have to go back to wearing masks? I'm not really sure how this is going to play out, especially in a country like the United States, that it's going to be really difficult for us to get rid of COVID if that's even possible at all. Just to give you some more perspective as where we are right now, uh, the United States for cases and deaths, deaths in the last seven days, 4,119. So we're still at a point right now where we're having about a 9-11 uh, every week or more than a 9-11 every single week. So again, you know, I don't know, is this premature? Tell me what you guys think. Is this premature? Is this the right time to do this? Are people around you already ditching their masks anyways? Seems like at least around me here in Atlanta, people have been uh, somewhat ditching the masks recently and I've only got my first COVID vaccine shot, so I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm obviously not fully vaccinated and that would not be in correspondence with the guidelines that they have here. Um, but if you are fully vaccinated, then let me know. Are you gonna start ditching your mask now? Do you feel uncomfortable with that given that we don't know who around us is vaccinated and who's not? It seems like with the science that they have, it's pretty low chance chances that once you are fully vaccinated that you're going to have you're going to be hospitalized die from covid or even have any significant symptoms from covid so you know is this something that just turns into like a mild cold that we have to keep doing new covid booster shots all the time um, but yeah, I mean, I don't really have much else to say about this. It seems like it's just pretty good news. If we're not required to wear masks anymore after you're fully vaccinated, I think that's a good thing. I think it could also incentivize a lot of people to maybe get vaccinated, although I'm not really sure how much crossover there would be between people who don't plan on getting vaccinated and people who would go get vaccinated with this news. It seems to me like the people who are not going to get vaccinated are not going to get vaccinated and they were never wearing masks anyways. So I don't know if there's a lot of overlap there or if this will encourage or motivate people to go get vaccinated, but that's what we have right now. So again, let me know down in the comments. Do you think that uh, you're going to ditch your mask if you're fully vaccinated or once you are, or uh, are you still kind of sketched out about COVID and you're going to continue wearing it?